Are you two still at it? At what? I've barely seen you speak two words to each other in a week. Whatever this is, you need to work it out. Everything's fine. Oh, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Good. Dr. Manning, Dr. Halstead, you're up. Treatment four. Hey. Hey. Kevin Parks. He's 10 years old. He woke up with 8 out of 10 abdominal pain and a fever of 103. We gave him Tylenol and a cool bath, but nothing's worked. OK. All right, Kevin, let's get you up on the bed. Ow! That hurts. That hurts? All right. All right. You got it. We're going to figure out why. There you go. Hi, Kevin. I'm Dr. Manning. This is Dr. Halstead. Can you show us where it hurts? Right here. Right there? OK. Has anything like this ever happened before? No, never. Abdomen is tender, but not rigid with no rebound. Bowel sounds are decreased. I don't like it. It could still be his appendix, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. Temps up to 104. Give ibuprofen and start cooling measures. Is there any other medical history we should be aware of? Yes. He's been diagnosed with pandas. Pandas? A pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder associated with streptococcal infection. Kevin started getting ticks and OCD after a strep infection two years ago. Nobody else could figure out what it was until finally Dr. Kravitz diagnosed him. OK, we'll be sure to give him a call. I've heard of Dr. Kravitz. He sees a lot of kids with pandas, right? He's one of the nation's top experts. I'm guessing Dr. Kravitz put Kevin on long-term prophylactic antibiotics to fight the residual strep? Yes, he did. CBC, chem panel, blood cultures, abdominal CT, and hangar rim of ankle stat. We're going to start him on some medication while we run some tests to try to figure out what's going on, OK? We'll be back to check on him shortly. Thank you. Have you heard of this Dr. Kravitz? He labels every kid's neurological condition as pandas. It's not even an officially recognized diagnosis. Either way, right now, that child is in real pain with a real fever. Right, because he's been on three different antibiotics for over 12 months, which we both know has wiped out all the healthy flora in his gut, causing a massive superinfection. I mean, all because his parents shopped around for a doctor willing to blame Kevin's neurologic tics on strep. Instead of admitting, they most likely passed it on to him genetically. Okay, but dismissing them isn't going to help. They are upset and worried. And what they're doing to try and fix him might wind up killing him. So Kevin's scans indicate toxic megacolon. It's a dangerous intestinal infection caused by an overgrowth of opportunistic bacteria. Which is most likely due to his long-term antibiotic use. So the new medicine you're giving him should fix it? Well, it's not that simple. Kevin's bowel is so inflamed, it's become dangerously dilated. And if it perforates, it's a life-threatening situation, which is why we need to release the pressure from his colon to try and prevent that. We appreciate your help, but We've spoken with Dr. Kravitz, and he wants Kevin transferred over there. Dr. Kravitz says if we treat him incorrectly, it's only going to make Kevin's neurologic symptoms worse. He wants to give him an infusion of IVIG to prevent that. Kevin's tics are the least of his problems right now. We need to focus on treating his infection. We want that too, but Kevin's tics are a big problem. They're odd, and the kids at school are starting to stare at him. We just don't want to do anything to compromise his future. I understand, but... We'll do the IVIG here. Natalie, that would work. Great. We'll get started right away. Thank you so much. Yeah. Why are you indulging them like this? Indulging? You know full well that IVIG will have exactly zero therapeutic benefit. It's keeping Kevin in the hospital. Why are you being so negative? I'm just being realistic. The more you humor them, the less likely they'll ever be to seek out an actual effective therapy for what is most likely a genetic neurologic condition. So what do you want me to do, Will? Have them sign out and leave? No, you should just give them a placebo, IVIG. If that's what's going to allow us to do our job, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. All finished. You OK, Kevin? Have a word. Kevin's latest scans show increasing edema across the wall of his bowel, indicating lack of blood flow. At this point, we need to consider surgical resection. Surgery? Shouldn't we finish the IVIG first to see if it helps? He can keep getting it, but we really need to move him upstairs. We need to call Dr. Kravitz. Mr. and Mrs. Parks, your son is running out of time. My wife works tirelessly to try to fix our son's problems. And if she has any hesitation at all, then we need to listen to her. How about I call Dr. Kravitz and explain the situation to him, OK? Hey, could you do that? Of course. Is there a bathroom nearby? We're down the hall. 
So you're just gonna keep encouraging them to follow this quack. Now is not the time to start an argument with them. It must be nice always being right. Sorry? From the moment we started this case, everything's been your way. We can't do this, we have to do that. What are you talking about? I'm talking about everything. Always being done your way. How we treat patients, what we can or can't tell them. What? Whether you and I are together or split up or on a break. Is that what this is about? You and me? Because it definitely wasn't my idea to go hook up with some woman in a bar. I told you, it went nowhere. Oh, and that's supposed to make me feel better. I made a mistake. I'm not perfect. But at least I admit it. I don't think I'm perfect. Okay, all I can say, Natalie, is that it's very hard for us mere mortals to measure up to you. Mrs. Parks? Sorry, it's just finishing up. Are you all right? I'm just stressed. Does that help? What? The hand washing. I used to. In high school. But I stopped for a long time until Kevin got sick. Having a child with uncontrollable tics must be so stressful. That's why we've seen so many doctors. My husband likes answers. Does he know about this? He's already got enough that he didn't sign up for. What would be the point? It might help you and Kevin. I don't see how. Kathy, you have OCD, like Kevin, and it's not caused by any bacterial infection. It's genetic, something a child inherits from the parents. I appreciate your concern, but please, just take care of Kevin's intestines. I'll worry about the rest.